And those sandbags can be effective in protecting your home, but only if you use them the right way. ABC Action News reporter Sean Daly has the specific steps to take both at the sandbag station and also when you get back home. Hey guys, there's nothing wrong with being prepared. You should have sandbags around the house anyway. They do divert water away from your house, and this week, they'll give you some peace of mind. What's your um, gut telling you right now? Um, I think it's gonna get a little wet here. Rodney Rafikoff just got back from helping Hurricane Harvey victims in Texas. Now, he's helping himself, just in case, with sandbags for his house. But I think everybody needs to get prepared. And, you know, everybody needs to say a prayer and just look out for each other. Sandbag filling stations in Tampa have been packed. They're already out, and I've only been here for maybe 15, 20 minutes. And when I came, there was a pile. But there's a sweet camaraderie and solid sandbag lessons. Do not fill your sandbags all the way. They're better loose when they can bend. Use the sand provided. Okay. Soil or dirt from your yard, not as effective. Guys, I knew bupkis about placing sandbags before this week, but some pros gave me some good advice. One, don't stack your sandbags uniformly. Stagger them like bricks. Also, if you have a tarp, put that down too, and when you're stacking, try to cover the opened end. That should help you out. I have where you can get sandbags and all the tips about how to use them at abcactionnews.com.